And now to start things off right, we have Ashley Green delivering opening remarks. Ashley is a managing director um, at Accenture and responsible for cloud infrastructure and engineering. She began her career with Accenture in 2007 and has spent her entire career in the infrastructure and cloud operations arena, constructing large, complex solutions. Additional interests include neurodiversity, which is awesome. I love that as well. Hiking, swimming, traveling, and serving on the board of her children's school. So welcome, Ashley. Thank you. Can you guys hear me? Yes, I am. Fantastic. I am so excited to be here with you all. Um, and I'm relatively new to the sponsorship um, at WIC. So I'm just going to take a couple of minutes to introduce myself. Um, and Aaron, you did such an amazing job there. So um, I currently live in the mountains of Colorado. It's beautiful outside. And I am a mom to a pair of two ankle biters, as I affectionately call them. I have a seven-year-old daughter, nine-year-old son. My son is neurodivergent, which means he is dyslexic and also gifted. And I am also married to someone I met at Accenture many, many moons ago. And we were celebrating his birthday yesterday. And while we were at dinner, my husband asked me, you know, what are you going to say in your opening remarks today? And so I started to go down a bit of memory lane and was reflecting on my own journey in technology as a woman and how I ended up at Accenture and how I've enjoyed my career here all these years. And my journey started like I think many, many journeys have started, right? That first comp sci class um, as a freshman in college. And I will tell you, after a few short weeks, I was hooked. I mean, staying up until 3 a.m. in the morning hooked. And I think I was so interested in it because I realized that my professors were, they were just teaching coding. They were teaching the foundational building blocks for logic and reason and the art of anticipating possible problems that are going to come forward all qualities and things I think women do inherently well. So I stuck with it all the way through grad school, but I do have to say that there were times it was very lonely. Um, I was only one of five comp sci graduates when I went through that. And my undergraduate institution was an all girls school. So that tells you all you need to know there. Um, and I was only one of two in grad school. And I distinctly remember walking down the halls in my graduate school and watching the young men literally shrink away from me and they would not make eye contact. And I don't think it was meant in a mean, menacing or judgmental way. It was as if they had encountered a foreign object and they just didn't know what to do with me. And so I said to my husband last night, I know we have a lot of work to do in the market to continue to drive women to technology. And as women, we all started as girls. So it can start as early as my seven-year-old daughter, but we have to be doing better, right? And oh man, did the stats humble me. So 74% of young girls today express interest in STEM careers, but for some reason, there's a big disconnect. And of those sev that 74%, somewhere along the way, by the time they get to college, there's only 18% that are actually pursuing and holding comp sci degrees. And what's more disheartening to me is that this is down from the 37% that we had in the mid eighties. So why are we heading in the wrong direction? And as I reflected on the state of affairs, I was intrigued because while market trends are showing a decline, Accenture's metrics are boasting quite the opposite. We have challenged ourselves to get to 50% female diversity at Accenture by 2025. And we want to be 30% managing director driven women. And like the true overachievers that we are, we are ahead of plan and we're on the verge of achieving those goals already. We're currently approaching 47% women and 27% managing directors. That's just 3% shy of our goal on both fronts. And so when I ask the question, well, how the heck are you guys doing that? And I fundamentally believe we have constructed a, I'll call it a cultural algorithm that is recursive in nature, right? So there's the nerd in me. Um, so you're like, Ashley, what the heck does that mean? What I'm really talking about is the reality that we at Accenture are maniacal about constructing and tuning an engine that builds itself. That means the more focus and measurement that we place on support of women at Accenture, the more we end up helping them build fulfilling careers while also balancing all the other personal commitments, which means we have better retention rates because the women stay with us. And then they continue to move up those leadership ranks and then start to serve as coaches and mentors to recruit the new ranks of women. And the cycle continues and continues and continues. And that means that our impact grows at Accenture and the market ultimately benefits. And let me tell you, the market is paying attention. Um, in the last six to nine months, the, I've worked with several clients and they are all actively expecting and asking us to show up 
with women at the table to engage. This goes across sales and solution and delivery and digital, you name it. They want to see women that they're interacting with, not just stats. And so we are here to attract, support, train, and build strong career paths for women Accenture because it's the best thing for our business, our industry, and our people, and the market, quite frankly, is demanding it. And so that's why we're here today. We are a band of sisters. Um, we are so excited to spend time with you. Um, Ashley Miller's up next. She's going to be driving our keynote. And then we've got a fantastic crew of women who are going to be in the panel discussions and the breakouts. And every one of my colleagues joining us today have all chartered their own path. And they are critical to part to the engine that we're building at Accenture and within WIC to be role models in the market. And we're here to have honest conversations with you. We want to connect with you. We want to network with you and, and really help you all find the best way to blaze your own path forward. And before I conclude, I just want to leave you with one question. Um, this is WIC, Women in Cloud. And so I ask, what does cloud mean to you? And when I personally think about cloud, I view it as a platform that allows our businesses to reinvent themselves. It's a place now where walls are breaking down across applications and infrastructure and security. There are no silos, nothing is binary anymore. And I feel that that really mirrors who we all are. We are all technologists and mothers and sisters and friends and allies and you know athletes and board members and volunteers and the list goes on. And with each new phase of my career and my life, I've had to reinvent myself as well. And so just like cloud has been a platform for business reinvention, Accenture has been the platform for my reinvention at, at each phase of my journey. And so I hope you all enjoy this lunch and learn on this beautiful Friday, um, build new connections, gain new perspectives that, that help you reinvent yourselves and drive fulfilling careers in technology and cloud. So Aaron, I'm going to pass it back to you to take us away. Thank you, Ashley Green, for a wonderful opening to today's event. Feel free to connect with Ashley via LinkedIn. We're going to drop her link in the chat if we haven't already.